Hello my gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do an empties video. So the product I have recently used and what I think about it, will I repurchase or not. So if you guys are interested in what product I have used, up, please keep watching. Alrighty, so I have like this tray kind of thing and I have all the empties in there. I'm just not going to go with any particular order, whatever it's like in there, I'm just going to pick it one by one. Alrighty, so the very first thing, it's from Nude by what nude by nature no so the very first thing it's from nature's way and that's their hair skin and nail uh, multivitamins i did mention in my previous video as well so this is like the second time i have almost finished it's only three left in day um i have seen like difference in my skin and my nails are like really really strong because i did get like gel nails probably like a couple of months ago i don't go for gel nails quite often because it just like damage your real real nails but I did got like gel nails and it's like made my real nail like really really weak as well so after having this one like my nails are really strong uh, my skin is really good because every now and then like one or two pimple used to pop up and I haven't like touch wood I haven't had pimples since I started using this one but why i bought this one was for my hair fall like my hair fall is crazy crazy like you're not even gonna believe it right so it has done everything else but no effect to my hair falls i mean like i haven't seen any difference like after using this one like my hair fall is the same but it is good for my skin and for my nails so i just like keep continue using this one i once i finish this one I will I'm gonna get another one so that's that another thing I have it's this shampoo um, I bought like shampoo and conditioner and it says like for dry damage hair that need extra care and all that um, it was all right I I think we haven't even used like whole of that it's probably like that much left I will probably just use it for my cleaning my brushes and all that um, it was all right nothing special even my husband didn't like it either so yeah that's that the thing I have it's a Gucci perfume this is what it's look like packaging is so cute I have finished this one mm, I don't know where this one gone but it smells nice but the thing with Gucci perfume it's like they don't last very long on your body um, like um, it will probably last for three to four hours but if you like wanting a perfume to last all day these doesn't last very long because few of my friend have Gucci perfume as well and they always say the same so it was a nice perfume but i won't be repurchasing probably any of the Gucci perfumes like yeah that's that i think i have is from australia's and that's the primer the original one um i did mention this one like in my what's in my makeup bag for the month of probably like March or April, I can't remember. Um, I wasn't a fan of it. It was like, it was all right, but it doesn't do anything to last your makeup. And it does claim that, you know, prevent fading foundation and all that. But because I have like oily nose, apart, apart from my nose, everything, like all my face is very, very dry. But it doesn't do anything to like keep the foundation on my nose and all that. So I just probably like tiny bit of left in it in here but I just had enough I won't be repurchasing that one another thing I have it's from Maybelline and that's their big shot volume express mascara it was an alright mascara I mean like if you watch my videos you know that I'm like obsessed with L'Oreal mascaras I mean like I will buy another mascaras but I always go back to L'Oreal's because L'Oreal mascaras are like so good they like give you volume they give you length and all that um, the one thing I like about this mascara, the wand was on the plastic one because I hate plastic wands. Um, it was alright, nothing compared to my L'Oreal mascaras, so it was, it was lengthening but it wasn't giving me like the volume I want. So yeah, I won't be repurchasing that one. Another thing I have, it's from L'Oreal, this is their True Match Super Blend Foundation. And it's in the shade 4D4W. This is what it's look like. 
And um, yeah, I finished this one up. I think this is the first ever foundation that I have finished. Yeah, so it's like a really good foundation. It, it looks like your skin doesn't feel cakey or heavy or anything. So yeah, I will be repurchasing, but not straight away because I have so many foundations that I wanted to use this year before buying another one. I mean, like that claim is not going very well, but still, yeah, so I will repurchase it, but later on the track but it's really good foundation if you're looking for like affordable foundation for dry skin it's really good all right another thing i have it's from dr dennis gross and that's their um you know the exfoliator peels and all that i only have one because i have thrown the rest and i do have few left as well i really like it actually i have sensitive skin so it doesn't irritate my skin and all that so it's come with two steps one is exfoliator and smooth another one is like anti-aging so this is what it's looked like it's pretty good so that's that Another thing I have, it's like a sample I got like in my beauty look from Mecca Maxima and that's their skin Isle Ice and that's that's from Skin Iceland Solution of Stress Skin. I got this one as a sample but I have like a full size jar of this cream. It's really good, so that's that. Another thing I have it's sheet mask from Sephora and that's their rose face mask. It's like very inexpensive and I really like Sephora's sheet mask, so that's that. Another, another thing I have is from Tassame and that's their uh, heat protector spray. It was alright, but I won't be repurchasing this one because I really like the one from L'Oreal and this is the one and that was the one I used to use, but then I picked this one for some reason. And I I just used it because I bought it, but I won't be repurchasing that one. I mean, like, it was alright, but it wasn't as good as I thought it would be, like, if I'm comparing to my L'Oreal one. So, that's that. I think I have it from Bior, and uh, that's their Blamish Clearing Scrub, and this is what it looks like. It's a nice scrub. I have bought it, like, a couple of times, but I won't be buying it anymore. Um, the reason... It's because I have found something else that's not a scrub, but I was using this one pretty much like every day as a face wash. Um, it's It was all right, but I won't be repurchasing this one anymore because I have find something else which work a lot better for my skin. So that's that. Another thing I have is from Lush and that's a like, lip scrub. I have not finished this one because it was probably sitting in my bathroom for a very long time. Um, so yeah, probably it's expired and I can't use it anymore. I won't be repurchasing it. The thing with lip scrubs is like, they don't work for my lips. So, like I have really, really dry lips. Uh, but lip scrubs seems like doing nothing for my lips. So the best thing work for my dry lips is like, I will have like a towel put it underneath the hot water and scrub my lips with it and all the dead skin gone. So I won't be investing in any lip balm because they just don't do anything for me. Another thing I have, it's the vitamin E body oil. It's really disgusting because it was like sitting in the junk for a very, very long time. I bought this one from iHerb. It was really nice actually. So call me lazy, but I like to use body oil when it, like it's like when we are in winters because I just find it like so much hard work like moisturizing your body after shower so I like use body oils in the shower so that you know I don't have to come out of the shower and then apply um, body moisturizer on the body so yeah that was that I will I have I don't want to place another oil I don't have anything else to order from my herb so I will repurchase whenever I place like next order. Another thing I have it's like from Neutrogena and that's the tea gel shampoo. You guys are gonna see it like in my every empty video because I just love this shampoo. I have spoken about it so many times. It's really good if you have like itchy, flaky scalp or if you have dandruff or like if you work out, you have like sweaty hairs and all that. It's really, really good. So that's that. And I have like three or four backup of that shampoo. So that's that. Another thing I have, it's the deodorant, it's from Rexona. Um, I don't know, they probably like recently changed something because it used to be sweat proof. So like if you wear this deodorant, you won't be sweating, but it doesn't do that anymore. And 
I bought in like two more of these but I don't really like these anymore and uh, the reason another reason is because it always leave like white cast on your clothes and which look disgusting and especially if you're wearing something um, like you know sleeveless top and all that so, like you lift your arm and then you see like white cast on the day so yeah I won't be repurchasing that so that's that Another thing I have it's from Olay and that's their SPF 30 moisturizer like everyday sunscreen. I have like a really soft spot for Olay. Um, I've been using it like for years and years but because they don't do SPF 50 and in, like in Australia the sun is really really harsh so we like I would prefer to use like SPF 50 rather than SPF 30. So I have bought like SPF 50 from Mecca Maxima, like their Mecca Cosmetic SPF 50 because that's the only SPF 50 which is not sticky because the rest of the SPFs like they're really, really sticky and I hate the sticky feeling. So I mean like I may repurchase it but or may not. But I really like this one because it's very lightweight but I just wish that they start doing SPF 50 instead of 30. Okay, another thing I have is from Kiwi, um, and that's their face forming cleanser. So I was like away last year, and when I come back, my skin was like all over the place and all that. And the salon I go to get my twirling done, that lady was like, she was like, oh, you should like use Kiwi products because it's like very good for sensitive skin and all that. I have used their like body wash and all that, but I have never used like their forming cleanser or face wash and stuff like that so I bought it and since I bought this one I have like never gone back to anything else I have bought like another one of it it's really nice it's very gentle on your skin um, and yeah it, it's really really good and it's so free formula as well and um, yeah I really like it and I don't think I will be buying any other face wash apart from this one because it's that good Another thing I have, it's from Benefit and that's the Eka Brows um, and it's in the shade 4. I still have like a little bit product left in there but it's like really really dry now. If you try to like use the product, like there is hardly anything coming out because it's like really really dried out now. So yeah, that's that. I'm probably gonna throw that one away because there is no point of like keep struggling and take, try to take the product out and when you try to apply on your brows, there is nothing. Um, I may not repurchase it because I recently bought um, Anastasia's brow powder and I'm really, really loving that one. So yeah, I used to love it, but now, I would say like oh it hurts me to say that but yeah probably not anymore so I may purchase this one like later on the track but not like but not at the moment so yeah I think I want to mention it's not beauty related but it's these like iron tablets um I'm low in iron I like I always low in iron for some reason um but now like i have the blood test i've done recently it says like my iron level is good so now i like i keep having these tablets like one month on one month off kind of thing um so these are like the chewable iron tablets and this is what it's look like and i really like the taste of these and because i just hate the tablets the multivitamin tablet it just do something to my stomach it just make my stomach so upset and I feel so sick and like bloated all the time if I'll have like any multivitamins or like any specific iron vitamin D tablets anything which has anything like tablet related so I saw this one at chemist warehouse I've been using it like more than a year now and one of my friends like she was low in iron as well and she was like eating like normal tablets so i was like you know what you should try these ones and i hooked her up with this one as well because these are like really really good and it's really yummy so yeah that's that so another product i have it's from chorus and that's their wild rose brightening serum this is like probably like my third or fourth purchase already I really like this serum. It's like the wild rose. It smells really good. It it has like 
light pink color to it and um, I just really love the way it made my skin feel and it's really really good for sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin so yeah I hook I hooked up like four of my friends to it so it is that good and I'm like obsessed with this product and yeah I have used like all of it so nothing coming out but it smells so good I just I love it I have already repurchased that one so that's that if you guys like after a really good serum I would say get a sample from Mecca so that's that and another two products it's like the samples I bought I got from Mecca uh, one was like skin Iceland oxygen night cream and I have used all of that I quite like it but at the moment because I bought another one the de-stretch skin one for the night time so I'm using that one so I may repurchase it once I finish that jar because that's pretty full at the moment so another thing I have is from Sunday Riley and that's the Luna oil and that's like the blue one I can't open it I have used this sample and I actually really really like it I probably will go back and buy the full size of it because it's it it makes my skin feels really really nice so that's that alrighty so the last thing I have is like very random but I want to mention it it's the international protein extreme mask protein powder because I go to gym and all that so we like you know it's very hard to find like a protein shake which you actually like the taste of and um, yeah so we've been using this one probably like almost two years by now I would say um, and I always get like the strawberry flavor. It's really really good protein shake and it's it tastes really good as well um, If you guys on the hunt of like a protein shake, I like highly recommend using this one But this is the one if you so this is like specifically for growth Like if you're trying to put weight on if you're trying to put muscles on so it's really really good But if you're losing weight, it's not for you, but they do have the one to lose weight as well so like they have a couple of in range so if you offer a good protein shake, I'll just like definitely recommend this one because it's my favorite. And since we started using this one, we have never gone back to anything else. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. Do let me know if you guys have spotted any of your favorite or like the product I've mentioned. What was your experience with those or what product you have recently used up and what's your thoughts about it. I would love to know in the comment section below. So please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, all of my social media links are in the description bar. Come say hi. I would love to talk to you guys. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye gorgeous.